What does it say? It says, shadows of the past. It says, find the person with the flaw. All right, we got to go ahead and find us now that we out here at the cemetery. Let's see. We're just going to look around real quick. Probably find something. this oh we got some Rasputin find the person with the flaw search it okay see if we can do that Oh, good. We got a little fast travel system. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. That says door frame. Dimensions force uh, too low. Fear of the flames has embedded itself deep in the fabric of the door frame. A trepidation, a trepidation about losing a loved one. Who's this? All right, we got, we got to get word. It says we got to get this leveled up. All right, we got that. And then let's see. This upgrade enables using perception in the dimension. What does this do? Heart is up one. All right, so I think we're good. Available upgrades. Each skill can be upgraded. Place upgrade in the designated slot. Strong attack. Upgrades. All right, I think since we upgraded, we got thick lines of wood grain are visible in the frame. They arrange themselves in the words carved as if by a chisel. They scream about an attempt to break down the door, about the hinges finally letting go. They scream into a dead void. Fear the flames. Okay. Trace. Who do we get this to? Oh, we're like a little detective almost. Let's go in. A horrible death. Uh, the blood so uh, sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wound inflicted with scissors wasn't large, but it was accurate. Life left the body. The heart went into a spasm, and the mind recognized the end. It lasted for some time, 
and then the flames came and the pain resounded anew. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Uh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever's carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. Uh, tell him about the flaws of the Salutar. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes. Those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? Don't reveal your flaw to him. Yep. I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. And now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. All right, he said Rasputin will remember this. Explain what traces there are. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? Say having multiple salutors is dangerous. If I do manage to catch another salutor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple salutors. Why? Ah, uh, we ain't gonna say that. Tell them what happens. That's pride, right? Let's do this. Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Ask why he came with you here. Yeah. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. No, you won't. I think we found everything we're supposed to. True fear. 
Uh, the doll is caked with the hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish of an old, an age-old painting. A child's fear, a girl's terror, a young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat, the throat and forces tears from the eyes. Yo, what is this? This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught <clears> fire. <throat> Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Earth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Uh, Vesna's trace. The same trace can be felt on the rag doll and the item dropped by the woman. Uh, smells of fear. Her nerves are badly st uh, strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety. And her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You You're think? the guy who trashed our comrades? Absolutely. Gia? Say the odds are uneven, no. Say it wasn't you. No, we're not lying, bro. I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. All right, we about to do it again. Let's go. Adjust upgrades. Let's see. I don't know how to do this. You buy upgrades with the uh, thaumaturgy points in the development panel. Once acquired, to sign the upgrade. Let's see. Oh, okay. Did that do something there? Restores your focus. There we go. Now let's go ahead and fight. Uh, strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. All right, let's do. Hit my man with the quick attack. Yes, sir. Broke that nose, didn't I? Oh. Yo, this dude keeps stabbing us. Strong attack opportunity. The enemy has lost all their focus and is now in the breakdown state. It's a great chance 
uh, to launch a strong attack. Let's hit him with it. We got to get, we got to get them out of here before we get killed. I think we about to put it, we about to put my man out. Are you all right, sir? Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. All right, fine. We still gotta go talk to this lady, so. Sensing I wanted to talk ma'am, please open the door Please go we didn't invite any guests over I'm telling you go away or I'll call for help Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Oh, okay. That's what y'all want to do. I'm going to improve my uh, thaumaturgy real quick. <laughs> now you know. Perfect. Efficiency. There we go. I think this, yeah, I think that should work. combo is knocking people out.
<laughs> Yo. The devil sent you. You could say that, sure. The village residents, if thinking uh, interferes with their actions so much, the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right here. A peaceful and happy village, not quite. The villagers are riled up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of the Bukovac. They are trying to defend themselves against the dark forces with folk methods. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please. Please. We gotta get in here, bro. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please. Please. All right, we can't get her to open up. Oh, hold on. There we go, finally. Luca, he must be the one who saved Vesna from the fire. The box? Oh, shoot. To the rescue, the words read from the door frame of the burned house where Luca, it was he who rescued Vesna from the fire, risking his own life. All right. Something else is over here. There are so many words of love inscribed here. Luca is a violent man, but he was a sincere love for Vesna. Quarrels are one thing, but he would never commit violence against her. As evidenced by the words written on the shaft of the axe. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing out a bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet, pugnant taste uh, stupefied compelled screaming finger pointing and hurting the frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath the message in this house lived a married couple who did not miss their words they argue violently loudly until they are out of breath but they persist together despite everything Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. She gonna open the door this time? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. It's clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca must not have been the best reputation in the village. Residents see Luca as a sullen curl and a recluse. However, he seems to have a soft spot for it. Luca was at uh, Vasil's house on the night of the murder and the fire took place. 
I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Calm her down. Let's try this. Please don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal Bukovac? that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that? The Bukavach? We still want to capture the Bukavach, right? All right. Sell your door? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. Oh, we about to confront him. I'm not here to fight. Yet. You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Unless... You're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could! Get out of here! Oh no. We're Here going to battle. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you are mine. Alright, it's a difficulty level. Balanced combat is challenging. Uh let's just uh let's let's say combat is challenging while allowing for a lot of freedom. Y'all yeah, want me to do it. Let's just do this. I want to win one fight. I never fought this thing, so let's see what happens. Fighting wild solitaires. To defeat the wild solitaire, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild solitaire sends more enemies against you. All right, well, let's see. Nothing to upgrade here. Adjust the upgrades. That's all.
Oh, I can't take two? Why not? Alright, whatever. We in there. Let's go. Wish me luck. He has what? He has one, two, he has like four of them things. <laughs> uh, Bukovac has caused you to enter a suffering state. States can have a, a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read their descriptions carefully and don't get caught off guard. Well, how do we know what we got? Suffering receives damage at the end of every round. The effect stacks times four. Okay, I got something that can get rid of that though, right? Restores my focus. Yeah, we're getting rid of that. Now we about to go ahead and knock this man out. So he's bringing more. Then we're going to do diversion. I need my negative status removed. All right, I need one that's going to get somebody up out of there. We got to get our health back up. That was the point. He hit her with a 14. I required a flaw. You lose, you lose, you lose. You're going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Oh, we just captured him. 
Uh, Tame in the Salutor. You defeated Bokovac, the dead dimension Salutor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. The untamed Salutor won't obey your orders, stops you from developing and weakens your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothes his anger. You achieve the unachievable. Oh, we did it. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you? Why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine. I'll handle it myself. I did it before, and I can do it now. What, what have you done? No. You don't need to see this. Prevent Luca from making a rash decision. Remind Luca of the proof he loves. Think, Luca. Your feelings for Vesna are still true, I know that. Hear out her reasons before you do anything. Okay. You two better not come back to the village! Dang, we just... As if we wanted to. Just let him stay with this crazy woman. Send a telegram at the railway station. So we'll go ahead and do this railway station, and then uh, we'll close out the episode. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. Right. You way from Albuquerque. I wanted to send two telegrams. One to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Bro, you read it? Do you still want to send something? No. Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Brush him off. Tell him about your father's death. Yeah, this the homie. I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. 
What do you intend to do now? Uh, we gotta say I've just had to change your plans. Say you gotta get to Borsov. Just a moment ago, I was thinking about Vienna or Budapest and going on from there to Paris, but now I've got to get to Warsaw first. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor, have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Uh, ask if that's a threat. Say no. I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself. With his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog. With faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. All right, I guess we didn't form the tag team championship team, so he gonna run with us now in Rasputin. He's like Scottie Pippen to our Michael Jordan, so. Oh, that's how we get the credits? That's tough. Warsawa! Warsaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? Say, uh, not that under circumstances like these, uh, re him what the paper says about Warsaw. The only person I consider close is my sister, but Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Warsaw. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of Dutch bombing. The socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Tell them what you've sensed in the passengers on your journey. Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three petitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. 
I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that Hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? Sure. You, you... I'm not, I don't trust you all the way yet, but... There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. <laughs> Orso, end of the line! Welcome to Varsava! I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. From. What am I doing here? All right, this one we're gonna go ahead and uh, quit this episode. So far, it's been pretty interesting. We got our first uh, battle with the Sawyer, and we won. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to to tap into that and use it in the rest of the game. But it does look promising. We have some uh, things to upgrade and some other stuff. Uh, I guess with our skill sets that we can go ahead and fix as well. I do appreciate you guys coming and checking out the video. I do appreciate everyone that has hit the like, subscribe, and share the videos, and all the new people that has joined the team. Uh, with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.